my name is Brad Erickson. I'm a neuroradiologist at Mayo Clinic, and I'm also the director of the Radiology Informatics Lab. Uh, over the past couple of years, my lab has started to do a lot of work on artificial intelligence, and obviously there's been a lot of attention to what's AI going to do to radiology. Um, certainly, uh, there are a lot of publications and a lot of good work being done on using AI to help us make diagnosis, but I think actually some of the earlier impacts will be on more practical workflow and imagery construction pieces. Um, there are already some good examples of how we can use AI to create images that look like standard dose when in fact the acquisition was done with low dose. Uh, in a similar fashion, making MRIs even though the acquisition time is much less. And something about AI, it does a better job of avoiding some of the artifacts that we see with more straightforward image processing methods. Uh, I think also uh, more practical workflow things like getting the right patient scheduled on the right scanner, getting the right information to the radiologist to make sure that the right protocol is done, all of those things will be improved by artificial intelligence. Um, I think there are other things that we can do with uh, getting more information out of images. I think segmentation, measuring things is something that most radiologists don't like to do, but there's a lot of information there. Uh, there are some important patient management decisions that are made based on the size of structures like polycystic kidney disease or looking at whether the tumor is getting bigger or smaller. Uh, one thing we've worked on is called body composition, which is measuring the amount and distribution of fat and muscle in the abdomen. And that turns out to be really important for deciding how to manage patients, such as if a patient is diagnosed with a new cancer, you may or may not want to do a really invasive surgery depending on how robust they are, and this body composition is a good indicator of that. So again, while AI has gotten a lot of attention for replacing the radiologist and, and making diagnosis, I think actually it's going to do a lot with improving image quality, improving the way that we perform examination.